Ethanol? It's already in there. Oh. Are you sure I'm gonna hurt myself? What if I hurt you? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, oh shit! Abort mission! <laughs> Robots can survive against pipe bombs! Okay. Um, I need to place items in here. And what's a charge pack go to? Probably an EMP mine? Yep, look at that. Three of them. And then a sensor could go on this. Efficiency! Yeah! Okay. Which doors are automatic and which ones aren't? Okay. That one is the only automatic here. At least this place is starting to feel like an actual space station. <laughs> We've been in corridors and shit all around the place, now we're like, Hey! Big wide open areas! People used to live here. For a long stretch of time. So I was like, oh yeah, look, they had shopping areas. And other stuff. Wait. So that's nice. Bastards, you murdering bastards. Leave them alone. Stand down. You bastards. Well, I guess that solves the problem of having humans to care about. Wait. Find an alternative route. Well, I don't have much of an option, do I? Alright. I should try not to engage every single android I see, but that one was fucking walking at me, man. I don't know what the hell I was supposed to do. <laughs> I want them to define find alternative route. Because, I don't want to have to go super, super far back. You know? I guess we'll find out. Hey, my accuracy is... Consistent? Even while I'm walking and aiming. Huh. That would have been nice to know. I thought I pretty much had to just like pull it out, stand still, and hope for the best. Zing Zang! Best on the station! Yes, we deliver! Oh god, can you imagine having to deliver across a space station? At least like, with like pizza delivery or something. You can just drive your car. You just walk out of the store. Drive the car. Boom, there you go. Put across the station. Walking! Lots of walking. Alright, so what am I doing? Ethanol and sensors. Uh, sensor could be put on... Flashbang? Yes. It's so hard to split this stuff up. Eh, no, no. There. Okay. Now we should have to worry about a couple of those things for a tiny while. Oh. Hey, guys. So, I'm assuming the android did that. Yeah. The android did that. <laughs> it definitely wasn't me. So, does this door open? Nope. 
I hate this place. I hate this place and it's automatic doors that don't look like the automatic doors we're used to. Assholes. But at least I have a save point. I'm gonna save just in case something ambushes me. <sighs> Alright, terminal? What do we got? Are you gonna give me access to anything, or... What, let's see. Heist, you still there? Why the hell didn't we have the smarts to stay on the Anisa uh, Anisadora? They shut me in a lab over in the Systex Spire. For the love of God, come find me! Elevators are out, and there are bodies everywhere! I'm sure I can hear it in the walls. Uh oh. after that thing came out of Foster, but you've got to stop fucking up like this. You got way too drunk and told those people sleeping in the hall uh, way too much. I dragged you away when I saw the look in your eyes. We can't go back to the No one can know we're connected to Marlow in the Anisadora. Now come back once you've dried out. Ah. So there are four guys. Or four people on the Anisadora, or at least that we know of. We have Foster, who's the chick. Marlo, who's the dude who's in the jail. Possibly still alive because he's locked in there. And then Meeks and this other guy. Or Heist. Heist, 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 Heist. So they might still be alive. You might still be able to run into them and have good luck or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh wait, pipe bombs give ethanol. That's always good. Okay. There. Okay. Let's get out of here. Watch this lead me back into the room where the other guy was. I doubt it, but it'd be amusing. Oh. Yeah, very strange. A person just crouching in the dark? Always very strange. But yet, at the same time, it's all in your imagination. Robot dreams. Yes. Don't talk to me. It's coming after me. God damn it. What? Looting chests? Chests exist for a reason, buddy! Here! Alright. That was a lot of noise. But the alien isn't here, so that's fine. We're finally getting a chance to use a whole bunch of stuff. Because thank God. You know? What else could use a sensor? Molotovs use sensors? Oh yeah, I guess they're bombs. They're, uh, they have the proximity thing. It'd be cool if you could decide which ones you- so if you don't want to put, like, sensors on a thing, you could say, alright, this is not... going to be used... as a proximity thing, because I don't really use them as proximity bombs. Because they don't generally kill the alien, so there's never a real reason to use it that way, you know? I guess we'll see. Was that the only one here? I sure as hell hope so. Alright, charge packs. We can put a few into here. Good, alright. Efficiency! <laughs> We're just looking around. 
Uh, so I guess we're gonna have to go into one of these rooms, but maybe we'll check out the one over here first? No, it's locked off. Damn it. Do I only have one door I can go into? Kinda looks like it. Okay! Let's enter the one door! The one true door! The door to rule them all! Actually, it isn't even a door, more or less like an open passageway. But it usually has a door. Oh! Buddy! Thank you. Always can use more shotgun ammo. I wonder how effective that is against the alien. It probably really isn't. We're gonna assume it's like using the revolver. Except even more of a waste. Because shotgun ammo is gonna be slightly more rare than the revolver ammo. You know? Alright, sensors. Where could sensors go? Here! Heh <laughs> eh, eh. Does this... Does this lead away? No, it leads right back to some of the other areas. Meh. I would be very impressed if an android could fit into one of these vents. Absolutely impressed. But I really doubt they can. They might stand intimidatingly outside of it, though. Oh. I had a good idea before I went into here. It was locked off and I didn't even know it was going to be. Tomorrow, together. Together, tomorrow. I, th I like the sounds of together tomorrow better. Because it implies that, you know... I don't know, it just sounds better. Together, tomorrow. <laughs> Although I guess it could be just taken... Yeah, we're not together today. Fuck that. Okay, what do we got? What are your plans? Hey, Mart. I guess you've heard about the Station D Commission by now. What are your plans? I've got some connections that can hook me up with the work when we leave. I can't promise anything, but maybe they can find you something, too. They started closing down the stores in the Galleria. Your place was still boarded up from last year. Sorry you had to lose it. You never seem to catch a break. Do you still hear from, Mar uh, do you still hear from Margaret and the kids? Maybe you should go see them when you leave Sevastopol. Let me know if you want me to ask around for you. Gillen. Blith! We need to find a way to shut down those automated janitors. They're a security problem. Every time they start their cleaning circuit, there's a risk they'll open up a route for that thing that's haunting us. Or at the very least, let looters in. Oh, so that's actually a little bit further. Okay. To all serviceable in inhabitants, the station's decommission process is now underway. Please read carefully and take note. Initial team is on... Or an initial team is on station to survey Sevastopol and initialize the commissioning process. Please help them in any way you can. We have enough food and medical supplies. The redirection of the supply ship flight path will not impact on your quality of life. Oh yeah, it will. Rationing will, however, be deemed necessary if stocks run low. Hoarding and illegal trading will not be tolerated. A uh, population rehoming service has been established. You are happy to help you with your next step. We are not liable for costs incurred. The decommission is final. You must relocate or you'll be forced to... Okay. Yeah, well, you know what? To be fair to Marshall, he at least got it off the station. He probably isn't dead, but he got it off the station. God, where the hell am I going? 
Mm. No. No. I know what you're up to. As long as I keep an eye out, I'll be fine. Oh, all right. Making some progress. Alrighty. Uh, weak Marlowe. Oh, wait! Hey, we're back inside the station! Or, we're back inside... Uh, the Marshal's place. I wonder what happened to Taylor. Fucking hope she lived. We went through all that goddamn effort to get her medical supplies. At least make her do something useful. Alright, charge, 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 charge is not used on that, it is used on EMPs. And I can do that. Good enough. Oh, Marlo escaped! Damn it! We could have used more information. Well, the good news is, by the sounds of things, There wasn't... two infections. Because otherwise... They would have been talking about it. Hello. And by they... I mean, the crew of the Anisted... I don't fucking remember the full name. Anisadora? Yeah, Anisadora. Okay. Oh. We have a survivor. A single guy. Holy shit. Alright, let's talk to him. They're all dead. The Android slaughtered them. Why? Why the fuck? I don't know. But I think Samuels does. Samuels? Why? Wait sent him to access Apollo. I need to find him. Have you seen Taylor and Marlo? N no. No. They're not here. I think they may have got clear. Ricardo. Ricardo! If I go after Samuels, can you run this place? I need eyes and ears. I'm not fucking staying here. Ricardo, I need you to do this. Can you man the station and keep me covered? Ricardo! Yeah, sure. Of course. Sit tight. Lock the fucking doors and don't let anyone in. Look after me. I'll come back for you. Yeah, Ricardo. I'll come back for you. He's gonna die. Here we go. Charge packs and go to the noisemakers. Gotcha. All right, Ricardo, you're not gonna be able to help me out by going to the fetal position. So, uh, good luck. So, where am I heading to? All the way back down to the transit area. Shit. Okay. Well, hopefully the androids aren't here anymore, but really, Samuels is obviously betraying us. He's an android. If he was programmed to do it, it's gonna happen. Alright, where are we going? That way. Oh. 
There are a lot of dead folks, man. Ones that weren't here before. I don't see any droids. But they might be just around the corner, you know? Yeah, he saw me. Okay. Hey, friend! Uh, I like interfering. <laughs> Running does cause accidents. Like you guys blowing up! Bye bye! Oh boy. Well, if they don't know where I went, that's a big plus. I should save though. <laughs> you never know, they can come back deadly. <gasps> Running causes accidents. Here, we'll break your legs. So you can never do it again. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I could have killed them and gotten some supplies, but we'll be fine. <laughs> My mission thing is like a tiny little blip right here. You can just keep on following it. There we go! 